Paris uh, Victor Strachey and all the other associates who came as far as from California, Kansas City, and all the other territories of the country. When you stand in front of the King of Kings, the judge up in heaven on Yom Kippur, you can't apologize for your sins, sins of omission and commission, like a little kid with a quick, reluctant, sorry, and then walk away. That's not going to cut it. You have to apologize. You have to feel regret, remorse in a more mature and nuanced fashion. You have to think about all the different aspects of your sins and apologize for each of those. You have to regret the thoughts that led up to those sins, the sins themselves, the pleasure that you got from them, the habits that they formed, the depression that they may have caused, the time that you wasted, the weakening of your resolve, and the weakening of the resolve of others, others who saw you sin or heard about it, your friends, your family, your social media followers, anyone whom you influenced. And that's where things start to get really interesting because you're judged not just on the bad things that you did, but on the bad things that others did based on your influence on them. So you're thinking, I'm not such a bad guy or girl. I didn't do that many bad things. I'll give myself a few chest bumps, apologize to the big man upstairs, and I'll be good. But you're not realizing there are a lot more things that you did wrong based on your influence of others and based on the things that you caused them to do wrong. You don't even realize it. But you may be the head of an organized crime family, a sin family. You may be the godfather. Thank you. And here's where things get even more interesting. Because the sages tell us that during the 10 days of repentance through and including Yom Kippur, the books of the living and the dead are open while God judges us. The classic explanation of that is that God decides into which book is your name going to be written. You get written in the book of life, you get another year of life. You get written, God forbid, into the other book, you're not going to make it through this year. But some commentators say that's not what it means. The book of the living, that refers to all of us. We're all judged. There's something written next to our name, whether or not we're going to get another year of life and what type of year that will be if we get another year. The book of the dead, that refers to God judging the dead. God's judging the people that have already died. But why? How? They've already been judged. They're up in heaven. The answer is that heaven apparently is fluid. Each year, those souls get judged and they can move up or down. They can get a promotion closer to God or they can get a demotion. Why? How? Based on the merits or demerits of the people that they influenced while they were still living their family, their friends, their followers. They are counting on us. There's nothing they can do for themselves anymore. They're up there in heaven. They're judged based on what we did the past year. If you're named for an ancestor, a grandparent, a grandfather like I am, you don't think that person is counting on his or her namesake to help them out based on the influence that they may have had while alive that's still affecting you? And you may not have even met that person. Like in my case, I'm named for someone who passed away before I was born. What about the people that you did meet? I got to meet and spend a little bit of time during my first several years with my mother's parents. And for my first 30 years with my father's mother. For 30 years, all she cared about was me being happy and well-fed. Not necessarily in that order. The least I can do is help her out now that she's up there, unable to help herself. And someday we're going to be in that same position, that same situation. After we shuffle off, hopefully at the age of 120, we're going to be helpless up there in heaven. And we're going to be judged every year this time of year. And the only thing we can do is beg and pray for those people that we influenced in our life, who then influenced people later, our kids, our grandkids, our great grandkids, our followers, our students, our friends. We're going to need their help someday least we can do is help the people that are counting on us now. May we all be inscribed in the book of life for another year of life and show proper contrition and regret and resolve not to repeat our sins. Let's help out those who are upstairs in the next world counting on us. It's a big responsibility. Good luck to all of us.